hey y'all. And I hope you're having a lovely day. I keep doing that. I guess this is not the right place for that, huh? Uh, but I love it. It's my Paris, uh, what am I trying to say, lotion? This was from one of my hauls from Bath and Body Works. Is that right? Yeah. Why do I always mix up Bath and Body Works and Bed Bath and Beyond? Just because the word bath is in both of them. Is that difficult? <laughs> do you see my Hello Kitty lava lamp? It's a glitter lamp, not lava lamp. How you doing? Mm-hmm. Do you know that my earrings match my shirt? It's a no name. Actually, uh, I think they are Brighton's, but see how they have little swirlies in my shirt? Little swirlies. I'm trying to be matching for you. Oh, and my lip, not lip, normal lip stuff from Chanel. I actually used lipstick today. I know I never do. But I like this. It's called number 49 Venice Violin, and it's a really pretty, like, I don't know. It's like a, it's got like a, what am I trying to say here? It's got like a, it says violin. <laughs> Excuse me. I was thinking it was like violet, but when you look at the side of the tube, it's more like a burgundy red. And when you look on my lips, it kind of looks that way. So here it is. That's the color, as you can see. And it's what I'm wearing. Again, not exactly the beautiful, voluptuous way that YouTubers do their mouths to show you their lipsticks. Like, they always go, like, huh. I just, uh, I feel like you should see them in action. <laughs> okay. All right, so a couple of quick things. I will be doing my plan with me. Uh, and I have decided on using... Instead of this one, which I really do like, and it's really, really pretty, and it's got deer, and it's got snowballs, and it's just got a really pretty, almost um, washed out, cream white beige look, which I love. And this is by Prairie Girl Plans. I got another one from Prairie Girl Plans that I really, really like, and it almost looks like it's sweater weather, and it's starting to get that way. Oh, it's not starting to. In the south, it just like never ever finally gets there but I'm so hoping for snow and there's some little snowflakes in this and little branches that are covered in snow so we're gonna put that one up also because one of my subbies said she loved it Hillary and uh so I just got to I got to and this is also a very complete one I like it when they're complete and they have the where is it okay don't tell me I said that and it doesn't have one it's got to have the bottom bar there it is there's the bottom bar. The bottom bar just kind of fills in, and it also has a little decorative arts one. It's got hot cocoa and snowflakes and snowballs and s snowmen and all of that. And um, But it just fills in the space. Okay, hold on. I'm going to show you what I mean. It fills in this space right here at the bottom that I've got lines. See all those lines? I don't like them. I don't like seeing these lines. I like a completed look, which feels, it kind of takes a pattern from some of these, usually the full boxes up there, and puts it on the bottom, and that kind of gives it a completed look to me. I also got some more in the mail. Let's see what I got. You want to look together? I haven't even opened it yet. How you doing? You having a good day? Oh, this is like a double. It closes this way, and then it closes that way. Bless their hearts. These Etsy gals running their little stores are serious. Oh, this is a pretty one. Please tell me it has a bottom bar. Okay, well, here is the half boxes. That's pretty. Here are the checklists, which is pretty. Oh, my gosh. This is from Willow Fields, y'all. This is really pretty. Look at that. That's like a boudoir, isn't it? It's purple and reddish, orange and gold and black. Oh, my gosh. That's going to be beautiful. Some little blanks. Did they not give me to do today's? No, there's to do today's. Oops. Just to do's. And only four. Why do people think that there's only four days in a work week where you need to do's? Weird. And then washi. Okay. So there's one. I'm not going to have time to go through them all, y'all, because i got to get out the door. But uh, let me tell you this. I'm going to be doing a play with me. I did want to also show you. Okay, I, I have to. I'll just have to get out the door in a minute. Oh, this is cute. This is also from Willow Fields. And this is this set. It's um, It still has its bottom bar and all that kind of stuff. But this is the full box. Just remember, the full boxes kind of show you what the bottom bar is going to be. 
And then this is the artwork. Isn't that cute? Little gray foxes. That's kind of... I had similar... Yeah, because we had a little white fox from another kit. Because she probably did that kit too. And then I also have Planner Girls. And it's just... I love this one because it's all... Paris theme, and y'all know I love Paris because that's where I had my honeymoon with my honey. Let's see what these are. Oh, how cute. Look at the Eiffel Tower and the poodles and little French girls. Is that the cutest? I love it. Love it. Love it. Is that focusing? I hope it is. There we go. All right. So we've got that. So excited. People are like, you get this excited over your stickers. I do. I sure do. I have a good time with them. Um, anyway, what else I was going to tell you about? Oh, I, when I went to Target and got the Sonia Kashuk stuff that people going to win. I'm going to wait till next Wednesday of next week before I do my drawing. I'm going to give people time. I'm going to give people time. Um, so if you have not seen it already, go look at my videos and look for a giveaway and go and put in the proper codes that you learn in the video. And I'm going to do a drawing and whoever wins will get a really neat package. But while I was there, I was in the dollar section and got these little stickers. I'm going to save them for Valentine's Day. Spread. Best friends forever. It's a raccoon and a, and, and a um, fox and lions and all kinds of cute stuff. You are Whaley really special. And it's a little whale. Okay. So that's cute. And then the last but not least, I wanted to show you real quickly. Very, very quickly. I can never get in this. By the way, look at this packaging. I saved this so you can see it. This is uh, Makeup Geek's packaging. See that beautiful black packaging with a black and rose gold Makeup Geek um, sticker over to, for closure. And I just think that's really, really nice packaging. It just, it's a, it's a detail, you know. When you open it, it's black inside too. And you get two, or I got, the only thing I didn't like was she used these peanuts. Don't like those. Ate them. They go everywhere. Alright, so let's please wash your new brushes before you. Smiley face. Isn't that cute? Look at the little smiley face. That is so cute. Uh, yeah, you should always wash your brushes because you never know where they've been, what they found on the floor. Oh, that's cute the way they did these. I like these little elastic bow things. Okay, so here is the brush set. Hmm, wonder if I should make this a special gift. You never know. You never know what I'm going to do. Wow, these are beautiful brushes. Y'all, Makeup Geek is just known for being like really good brushes so I'm just going to show you one and because you will wash it first anyway I'm going to show you that you can just oh my gosh that is so dense and yet so soft these are really good brushes y'all it's kind of a rosy goldish silver that's really interesting um feral color this is this could be travel size and um, it's an angled stippling brush and this is very dense again very very soft and again um if I turn this into a giveaway or gift, and you saw me touch that, just remember you should wash them first anyway. So that's that. I ordered their um, her uh, Makeup Geeks. Uh, that's a young lady who started her own business here on YouTube, and she has just grown it, grown it, grown it. And um, these are this is that was the face one. This is the eyes one, and it has so many. Wow, these are really tiny though. I guess it's because they're so precision pointed crease brush. That's that seems small to me. Does it seem small to y'all? Let's see. No. Wow. Nice. It's a little stiff, but it's brand spanking new. And of course, when you use it over time, it's going to get not stiff. So, And also, when you wash and um, clean your brushes, they do loosen up a lot. So, um, yeah. Nice. And there's one dual-ended one, and that is, of course, the dual-ended brow brush, which I do like, because then you've got, you know, you can go ahead and put on your powder or your pomade or your, not, what am I trying to say? Not pomade. Um, powder or wax. And um, then when you brush through, you've got the little spoolie right there on the other end. So I do like that a lot. Um, the other thing that I was going to show you that I'm really, really enjoying, and it seems like kind of, um, maybe I'll call this a favorites. Um, what I'm really liking lately is this size little notebook to take with me for different things. Right now I'm doing some care for my father. These are by um, Vera Bradley, by the way. 
I'm doing some care for my father, and so I want to keep a record of all the stuff the doctors say and what drugs he's on and all, and you know, the procedures he has, all that kind of stuff. And so I'm taking this with me when I go and take him to the doctor so I can take notes. But it's just a good size, and it's lined pages, and it's lined in the color, one of the strong colors on the outside. And this one's got a lot of red and this black, blue, pink, gold, teal. And so it's got red lines and red um, side margins. So I'm really enjoying that. And, and I, y'all know that I am a huge fan. <clears throat> That almost went all over my shirt. Oh my gosh, I drained that way too fast. Okay. I'm a huge fan of Statler pens. You'll see there's a couple missing because they're in my purse. Obviously, they're the red ones and a black one. Actually, they're in my tote. But this is the 20 Tri Plus Fine Liner um, Pack. And I really love it because it's super lightweight. It closes really well. And I can take it with me. I can leave this in my tote and take it with me and especially like if I'm using it for my planner I used to pick the color that was you know a strong color in the plan in the spread for the week but then it kind of blended in too much so it went back to black but now the black just it looks too contrasting so what I'm going to start doing again is matching up one of the darker colors so for instance this is um, got more kind of a dusty um, sea blue and um, this kind of goldenrod orange. And so rather than pick black or uh, that same color blue, I'll pick one shade darker so that you can see the blue really well. But it's not black, you know? It's, I mean, we're about fashion here, you know? So anyway, that's really all I have for you. And I love you guys. And I'll be talking to you again soon on my plan with me. And I hope you have a good weekend. Bye, bye, bye.